Today we're going to learn about OSU's Plant Disease and Insect Diagnostics Lab and joining me is Jen Olson, Plant Disease Diagnostician. Jen, could you tell us a little bit about what Pedidl offers? Sure. Uh, basically, we offer the same service for all residents of Oklahoma mm -hmm. and what we do is we look at insect and plant disease problems. Um, people can send them in. They can also be household insects if they just need to have okay. them identified. Um, and then we focus a lot on plant problems. Um, when people want to, you know, they identify that perhaps they have a problem with their plant or they have an insect they've collected and they want it identified, the best thing that they can do is to start and take it to their county extension office. Okay. Um, it would be in the phone book. They can look it up. It's also, there's a list available online. And they'd want to contact them and let them know they want to bring this by. Um, and the agents there are trained um, so that hopefully they would be able to identify it. Otherwise, they will forward the sample onto us. But most of the time, especially common problems, they can identify those and they're gonna be more familiar uh, with the problems in their county. Okay, and a lot of times people don't know what they need to bring in and uh, you know, I've worked with diagnostics and we get little sticks. Uh, how do we collect a proper sample so that it provides the material you need to identify the problem? The biggest thing is, as far as plant diseases go, mm -hmm. um, it needs to be not completely dead. We need something that is at least partially healthy, especially we like to have things sort of on the border of healthy and dying. Okay. And anytime you can send in multiple samples that have different stages of the same type of symptoms and problem, that's very helpful digital images can be sent to us. Um, you can you know, mm -hmm. take your camera right to the office and um, your county office and they can get those off and get them to us or they can be emailed to us. Um, but usually that gives us a good idea of what the problem looks like in the landscape okay. so we can help better um, identify what, especially if there's an environmental or cultural problem going on. Okay, now we have a problem here that we're gonna look at how we would sample sure. um, for this problem. This is a, a real common um, problem, and this is where there is some type of problem in the soil. Mm -hmm. And the reason we know that is you can see there's this area of um, sort of dead plants, and then some that are declining. This coleus is just starting to show symptoms. Um, so there's probably something going on in the soil here. Um, what you would want to sample, this would not do any good just to send me some of those wilted leaves off the coleus because that's not where the problem is. I'm probably going to tell you I need another sample. Okay. Um, so what you would actually want to do mm -hmm. is to dig up a plant. We have one here that we have dug up. And another thing is a lot of times people will just throw um, something like this pepper into a box and send it to us. Um, we end up with soil getting all over the foliage. It's really hard to work with. Um, so we recommend that you take some type of plastic bag, wrap it around the soil and maybe put a rubber band or a piece of tape, something to hold this separately, mm -hmm. and then put a big bag around it. Uh, you don't need to add any moisture. There should be enough moisture here that it'll make it to us um, without drying out. And you can see it does look like there is something else going on here. These roots never really expanded mm -hmm. um, outside the, the initial um, potting mix and the roots look a little bit brown. And odds are if we dug up some of these other plants we'd see similar symptoms. And one of the clues that it's something in the soil is that we have different species of plants all showing symptoms, not just one species. Sure. And they're also, you're seeing an overall decline. It's not just spots on the leaves. It looks like there's something, a wilt symptom or a dieback symptom a lot of times either is occurring lower down on the stem or in the root system or sometimes in the soil. So it's good to send the associated soil. Okay, let's take a look at some woody plant problems. We have a dogwood in our gardens that's been showing these foliar symptoms and you helped me get a nice proper sample. Can you tell us about what the tissues that you collected? Sure, we took um, sections that had each had a little bit of leaves. This is just starting to show the symptoms. You can see they're just developing. We have sort of one that's showing a little bit of symptoms and then one where we have this much more prominent leaf spotting occurring. Mm -hmm. um, in this case, we didn't see wilting or dieback. We just saw leaf spots. So this would be a good sample to send in. You just put it in a large zip top bag. Again, no added moisture or anything. And then that would be what you could store it in the fridge and then okay. um, take it to your county extension office and they would send it to us if they couldn't identify what the spot is. Okay. For um, 
another type of problem that we get a lot is dieback and cankers, such as what this tree is showing here. This okay. is an ornamental pear. Correct. And we're going to cut a branch off of it. Mm -hmm. I almost caught it. Um, and you can see I've cut a section again that has both a living healthy area and a dying area. And we want to try to get back to where this transitional zone is, where we have a lot of dying parts and then it looks perfectly healthy. And usually in these parts we can start to find some small cankers. Mm -hmm. um, and this would be what we would want to take in and that they would send in to us to identify what this problem is. And again, this is since this is such a large tree, this is where um, pictures are often very, very helpful because you can't bring the whole tree to us. Absolutely. Now, another service that you offer is some online diagnostics. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Again, you can um, just mm -hmm. send us pictures directly. Um, a lot of times with insects, what we'll actually have people do is if they have a flatbed scanner, um, attached to their computer, they can actually scan the insect, you know, maybe a couple pictures, different sides, mm -hmm. at a high resolution is important, um, and send those to us. And a lot of times we don't even actually have to see the insect. Sometimes you can do it um, if you just have a leaf spot problem. Yeah. A lot of times we might um, be able to narrow down what the problem is and we still may need a physical sample for diseases, um, but certainly it works well with insects. Um, and then for something like the symptoms going on this tree, I could, just based on what the symptoms look like, tell you what the problem is, because it's a very common problem that we have, it's fire blight. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can submit pictures to us, or you can also do digital diagnostics where you pick um, pear, um, that it's showing dieback, and um, this sort of burning symptom, and uh, it'll give you information and identify fire blight as the problem. Excellent. Well, Pididal is a wonderful service for all of us. Thank you so much for no sharing problem. with us. No problem. I look forward to receiving samples.